It's about time, Anthony. I called you over 45 minutes ago. What took you so long? Sorry about that, mate. I was at the dentist and his office is in the south end of the valley. I was making good time, but a grape truck overturned, and traffic was backed up something fierce. But I finally made it. Gee, the clubhouse here at the country club is very nice. I've never actually seen the inside before. Yes, it is nice, isn't it? Why were you at the dentist? One of my fillings fell out about six weeks ago and this is the first available opening he had that was on a Saturday. I've been in considerable pain, especially when I drink anything cold. Oh, is everything all right now? Well actually, the nurse had just called my name, and I was just about to see the dentist when you called. Since you said this was an emergency, I had to rush out before he could see me. Oh that's terrible. I hate having to wait at the dentist, it is such an inconvenience. The way they make you work around their schedule is intolerable. It's unbelievable that they treat their patients that way. Ah, I know. So you wanted to see me straight away? Yes, I have something incredible to tell you. You have been working so hard, I wanted to do something nice for you. Since you are getting married next week, I have a surprise for you and your bride-to-be. Well gee, thanks a lot. But you didn't have to. That's true, it is your job, but I would still like to reward you for all of your loyal service. I spoke with the general manager here at the country club, and he said they have an opening next Tuesday night and they would be able to handle your wedding reception right here. Isn't that great? Well, uh, yeah. But I already have a location reserved for my wedding reception. It's at my fiancé's parents' country club. And it's next Saturday besides. Well maybe that's all true, but surely that country club doesn't hold a candle to our lovely country club here? Look out the windows over there. Can you see that little hill off in the distance? You mean the dump? Actually, the official name is the Greater Bay Area Reclamation Facility, or GBARF, as we like to call it. That little hill is on its way to becoming 100% pure organic mulch for the Iraqi conflict victory gardens of future generations of wine drinkers. But that wasn't my point, you see that green patch behind the GBARF? That's the vineyard for our PP's Chardonnay. The location is quite idyllic, don't you think? Yes, quite. But again, my wedding is next Saturday and we already have the location for the reception booked. People have made their travel plans, including my relatives who are flying in from Australia. A change this close to the date isn't possible. I appreciate the gesture, but I must decline. Did you say next Saturday? But I have a golf tournament next Saturday. Tuesday is a much better day. What the? What do you mean Tuesday is a... 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 Mummy. Oh sorry, I just threw up in my mouth. I mean, really, my fiancé, and I couldn't possibly change our plans now. Well, you still haven't heard the best part yet. They still have plenty of PP's Chardonnay available, and he would allow me to let you pour it for your guests. It would make such a lovely wine for your reception. I'm sure PP would make a big splash with all of your guests. A big splash? Yes, quite. And I've arranged for you to get a 10% friend of a member discount? But that's considerably more than I pay for the wine with my distributor discount? Well yes. If you could buy it. But remember, all of the wine was stolen from the warehouse, so these five cases represent some of the last precious drops of PP available. It's fortunate that the club still has the original five cases from their opening order three months ago. I can't wait to see you and your beautiful new bride toasting your future with a glass of my golden PP. I know, it's a complete shock. Well why don't you call your fiancé and let her know the exciting news? Uh, I don't think my mobile phone works well out here. Oh nonsense, reception is great out here. Give her a call. Uh, my battery's dying, enough. Uh, uh. I know. You probably want to tell her in person to see the look of excitement on her face. Before you go, how about a nice cold glass of Chardonnay?